Hey guys, so yesterday I finally went back to the theater um, and uh, saw, of course, a double feature, because why wouldn't I? Uh, anybody who knows me and has watched any of my reviews knows I do that a lot. And of course, my first day back at the theater, I go see a double feature. That shouldn't be much of a shock. Um, this, uh, with the first movie being... I, the first movie I saw was Unhinged, but before I get into that movie, uh, I sure a lot of people want to know what was the movie theater f experience like. Uh, now, with all the new guidelines we have to follow, um, honestly, and this is gonna probably take some people by surprise. I thought it was not much different than it was before I went to the movie theater or before the pandemic happened, um, because other than that. We had to wear a mask. That's about it. That's the only thing that was really fucking different. Other than that, like, there's not much different. Uh, there wasn't many people there. There wasn't many people there before the pandemic ha hit. So, I mean, it's not much different for me. It was on a Friday. Um, I didn't expect there to be a lot of people, and there wasn't. I, I don't expect there to be a lot of people at movie theater movies for a while. Um, I imagine the box office is going to be terrible for the rest of the year. Um, especially coming this fall, you know, fucking, it's the flu season, everything, you know, it, everybody's expecting it to go back up. I don't know how long, it, it, I'm hoping we keep the movie theaters open all year long, or around, uh, for the rest of the year, but I'm not even 100% sure that's going to happen. But anyways, yeah, you got that, uh... It's it was kind of you know it was weird wearing a mask while sitting for two movies, uh, but you get used to it. It's not that hard. Uh, I understand people that don't want to go to the theater right now. I understand that. It's that's your prerogative. Uh, just you know, if you don't feel safe, more power to you. There's easy ways in the movie theater to stay a safe distance from other people. Um, like you can pick your seat. They pick when you pick your seat. You can make sure it's not next to somebody. Um, and like obviously, there's not going to be many people there right now. So you can pretty much guarantee you're going to be like one of the few people in there, if only the only person in there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm so happy that movie theaters are back open. I honestly am. It was funny seeing a lot of the posters for movies coming out. Uh, it, there's a lot of movies that just said the words coming soon <laughs> below them because there was a post for the quiet, a quiet place part two, and it just said coming soon. And I don't think that's coming out in April next year now. And, uh, I was like, it's, it's kind of funny. And we even had a poster for Annabelle, which I think that's something being only be released on demand unless it maybe it'll be in theaters too that'd be awesome i'll be watching theaters i really i was really looking forward to that um so yeah uh you know i'm i'm excited for the movie theaters being back open um now as far as unhinged the movie i went saw uh first movie that i saw unhinged this was a movie that I was so looking forward to uh, seeing once the movie theaters opened back up. Because when I saw trailers for this, this movie looked so goddamn ridiculous. So absurd. But it looked like so much fun. It looked like my kind of uh, cup of tea. I was like, I cannot wait to sit in a theater and watch a movie like this. It looks really, really a lot like a lot of fun. Um... And it didn't disappoint. I... This movie is dumb as hell. I'm not gonna say that this movie's good. It's not. It's not... I can't really say this movie is good. But it's fun. It's kind of a... Entertainingly... It's not... I've seen worse than this. So I can't say this is like a horrible movie. It's not... But it's not a great movie. But it's... It, it is a lot of fun. I don't know where... How you interpret that. Uh... It's... It's... It, yeah, I say... Like, you... I, I... Pretty much... What I expected out of this movie, I pretty much got. Um... Russell Crowe is the best part of this fucking movie. He is easily the best part of this goddamn movie. Uh... He is, like... 
by far, like, in a way, the best thing. Uh, he is... I didn't really expect this going in. I thought they would try to make him a sympathetic character. I thought they were going to make him more like a Michael Douglas and falling down character. No, he's far from that in this fucking movie. He's a psychotic killer. And, like, a fucking... He's like a unstoppable Terminator, like, who's determined to kill... Or pretty much torture this poor woman who he just... She honked at during a traffic stop because he is, he is like... Just having a bad day, basically. Uh, in the beginning, of, basically, in the beginning of the movie, you set up that this guy is just fucking psychotic, because the opening scene is where he goes to his ex-wife's house. This all happens before the traffic stop incident. He goes to his ex-wife's house. He goes into her house, kills her and her boyfriend, her husband, new husband, and burns her house down. And, uh, yeah. So, it pretty much establishes this guy's fucking off his rocker. And, but, like, he is the best fucking part. Or, because he's like, it's fun seeing a crazy Russell Crowe. I haven't seen a kind of, this is a performance of Russell Crowe I haven't seen really ever him do. He's always more serious, more likable, you know, when he plays character characters. Usually, it's very rarely he plays a villain, it seems like. Um... But, you know, even even when he does, he doesn't play like a, a person as psychotic as this person is. So that was kind of fun to see him do something like this. Uh, I, I love Russell Crowe. He has gained a lot of weight. Holy shit. Like, that's the thing most notable with him is, like, how fat he is. What has happened to Russell Crowe? Like, what the hell? He's like Steven Seagal size. <laughs> That's like the best way to put it. Um, I don't know what's going on with him, man. I like like the guy who's been pretty in pretty good shape for most of his career. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, the girl was, yeah, it's she. I was watching this movie. The beginning of this movie, I was like almost kind of like, this is going to be a really unlikable character to follow for the rest of this movie. Cause there was just things, she was just bitchy and part of, you, part of me is just watching this movie going, this movie could have been solved in fucking two minutes if you just fucking said, I'm sorry. <laughs> it it, it would have been that easy of a fucking... It, I don't know why it, she just would not fucking say, I'm sorry. I mean... Obviously, this guy is a little off his fucking rocker. Maybe just fucking say I'm sorry. Maybe he'll just go on his way and that be the end of it. But no, she's gonna be a fucking bitch about it. So I'm like, I and like this movie. I do love this movie. This movie's the little fucking on the nose. It's uh, uh, to say the least. It's it opens up with like all these news real clips of like. Oh, traffic jams nowadays. There's all these incidents of traffic jams and traffic uh, road rage, and uh, there's all the civil unrest going on in America. On Amer America, and I swear to God, there was like clips of like Black Lives Matters, like protests and shit like that. I swear to God, there was. I'm like, calm down, movie. Calm down. <laughs> like, just like, 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 don't try to start comparing like civil unrest and stuff like that. Like, this is the reason why people like Russell Crowe go crazy. I'm like, fuck you. Shut up. And like, like, they're, this guy, normal people don't do this. I like that tagline in this movie. Oh, he, he can happen to anyone. No, he can't. I was like, fuck you. He can't. It's like, he is like, there's a scene where he's he's got her phone and he's playing, they even say it, like Russian roulette with her contact list. She has to decide who he's going to kill next that she knows. And it's like, oh, for it's like, I think at that point I was like, just like laughing my ass off. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. There's a point in this movie I'm like, how the hell have the cops not found this guy already? First off, he's already suspicious did the dairy suspect him for murdering his ex-wife uh, being in a movie? Like, I don't know how he wasn't caught 
very early on. Like, he is not, like, trying to hide in plain sight. He, there's that sa- scene in the diner that you see in the trailer. It's a really long scene that goes on for a while. And I swear to God, he's, like, monologuing to this woman on the phone for a while after he does this horrific act in the diner. I, I won't say what happens, but he does a pretty horrific act. And I'm like, the cops would have been there by now, and he would have been fucking arrested. Whatever, fuck it. I don't know. I had to sit there like, I'm like, uh, <laughs> I just sit there for the most of the movie. Like, I saw that this movie in my driving was being played with. Uh, er, my driving was playing this too, and they were playing it with a double feature of do- this and falling down and I'm like that is a perfect double feature that is a perfect double feature I know a lot of, I'm sure this movie I, I, I think I, I even when I saw the trailer compared it to that and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to compare it to this falling down is a better movie yeah falling down is a better falling down is an awesome movie that's an underrated fucking movie um and uh especially God bless uh, uh Joel Schumacher man it's like one of his best movies uh, but yeah, like this was this was ridiculous, man. I love it. I, I did love it. You're like, I I've seen so many bad fucking movies that I like. He okay towards the end of this movie. Like I said, he is just fucking not stop unstoppable he's like an unstoppable killer it's like michael myers has road rage basically by the end of this movie he is like unstoppable he like will get in horrible car wrecks oh my god the, the amount of like mayhem and like damage he does to the fucking city of where was this movie in i can't remember i can't remember what city this was, was it california i can't remember uh Fuck, what, what, what was the city that this movie took I can't remember. But anyways, the amount of mayhem, destruction, horrifying car wrecks that, like, happened in this movie is insane. Uh, and, like, the heat causes. Uh, I was like, this is a great movie. The, you know who spon- should sponsor this movie and, like, promote this movie? State Farm. <laughs> I was, like, sitting there laughing my ass. I'm thinking that. I'm making jokes for my own. Um, and I'm like, he, like, he's this unstoppable killer who will not, nothing can stop him. Nothing. Nothing. Like, he gets in a horrible car wreck. He just gets back up like it was fucking nothing. He gets shot in the shoulder. He gets up like it's nothing. It's just like, it's a flesh wound. I'm like, what the hell? It's like, he's Michael Myers. To the point that, like, towards the end of this movie, I expected him to, like, I can't, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, them to go, I've seen so many dumb horror movies, I would have been, like, expecting him to, like, come out of nowhere towards the end, like, as a surprise, and I was expecting that, I was like, I'm glad they didn't, but it's like, ugh, dude, like, a lot of the cliches that you see at the end of slasher movies, because this basically is a slasher movie, um, but it doesn't do that, thank God, um, it's goofy, it's, I don't know, would I recommend seeing it at a theater full price? No. Uh, it's a fucking decent little popcorn. If you can, like, if you got Regal Unlimited, go fucking check it out. It's fun. Uh, or you can go see it for cheap or something like that. Oh, yeah, go see it. Uh, if you want to go to theaters uh, anymore, I don't know. Uh, it's a fun movie. I'm glad I'm glad this was the movie to open the movie theaters back up. This was this was a lot of fun. I, I can't say, like, you know, this movie isn't that isn't good. Isn't a great, like, a good, really good doesn't really qualify as a good movie. I was entertained. Like, fuck it, man. I like. I it was. It was. I. It was a great escape from the crazy world we live in. Hell, I had my own unhinged moment almost uh, during the movie where uh, I'm in the movie theater and I was the only one in there when the movie started. About fifteen minutes when I'm into the movie, people walk in. And they just start talking and talking and talking. At first, they, they, I waited for a few minutes. I think I'm, they'll probably shut up after a while. But no, they weren't. So I just, as politely as I could say, we're in a movie We're in a movie theater now uh, at your house. So I was like, that's it. I didn't say shut the fuck up. That's usually what I say, shut the fuck up. But I refrained from doing that. So, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. 
to make, or this movie did make me rethink ever honking on my horn at somebody or you know, getting any road rage from this point forward. I will say that. Uh, if that was this movie's goal, bravo, you did you succeed in that. Um, I got trailers! Uh, it's the first time I get to talk about trailers. Um, Greenland. Uh, this... This is a weird movie to put out right now, <laughs> Greenland. Uh, this is the first time I saw this trailer. I know I've heard about this movie. I just didn't get a chance to see a trailer for it until now. Uh, this is a Gerard Butler disaster movie where a meteor is coming towards Earth, and when it does hit Earth, it fucking causes all this death and destruction and Armageddon's happening. And I'm like, yeah, this may be not the greatest movie to release right now. <laughs> Like, the only thing that would be worse than this is, like, if you made a movie about pandemic. Like, if they... Like, I, I would fucking die laughing if my movie theater or one of my drive-ins played, like, Outbreak or Contagion. Probably not the best idea. I would hope they wouldn't. I, I think they have a little fucking more sense than doing that. But that would be hilarious. But... Uh, it does, I can see people being fucking pissed about that. I, you know, like, but if this is Greenland where it's, yeah, you know, like I said, it's a disaster movie. Uh, looks kind of fun. I like Gerard Butler. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It's coming out in a month or so. I'm sure my theater's getting it. We're getting a lot of, like, independent movies now that we never would usually ever get but because there's not many movies coming out they had no choice um so i'm sure we'll get greenland um infidel uh the only way i can describe this movie is jesus goes to uh cairo yeah cairo and he is kidnapped by terrorists. So, Jesus is kidnapped by terrorists. That's all you can do to know. You know what? I want to know why I keep saying Jesus. It's Jim Caviezel. I can't be the only one. Anytime I see Jim Caviezel in a movie, I'm like, hey, it's Jesus! <laughs> so, I'm like, I, I know it's sacrilege. I know people are going to get pissed at me for saying that. But, hey, what else, like, what is there, what is the one movie everybody's going to remember him by? Passion of Christ, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, uh, it looks all right. It looks like a little spy thriller almost. It looks uh, Jim Caviezel is not a bad actor at all. I'm not saying that at all. He's not a bad actor. Um, he's just like he's always gonna be remembered as Jesus. Um, and he's you know has the same initials J C. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then the last trailer I got was the new trailer I haven't actually seen yet. Uh, for Tenet. Uh, which is coming out in a couple weeks. It is for sure coming out in a couple weeks, including uh, I will be getting a... My theater has been selected for one of those theaters that's going to release it early on August 31st. So I'm fucking there, dude. <laughs> like, I'm going to... I have been looking forward to this movie. They've been, like, really trying to their hardest to open theaters up so they can release this movie in the theaters. So I want to support this movie, man. Uh, I... I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what the fuck is going on in this movie. <laughs> and from what I've read in early reviews, it don't seem a lot of people do either. Uh, I just know it's spy shit and time travel shit going on. It's Christopher Nolan. So, cool. <laughs> like, it looks cool. Uh, I'm sure it will be good. I love Nolan. He's a pretty damn good director. Good director. I wasn't that big of a fan of Dunkirk. That's probably the only person was. But I, I still thought it was good. Um... But I really do like the uh, Christopher Nolan. Anytime he makes a movie, I gotta go check it out. So yeah, this, I'm looking for a tenant. I like that he does different kinds of things every fucking movie. He, he, it's not the same kinds of movies he does. He he just does like different. It's gonna be, although every one of his movies are overly complex. Make you can't fucking not pay attention for one minute while watching these movie, his movies because they're so fucking like convoluted. I, I, I do have problems with that with his movies. Like, they... He... Like, just... I, he never makes a very uh, simple story, does he? He never does. Not even with Batman, alright? He never does even with Batman, so... Yeah, there's that. You can tell this is like a movie that's like, it'd be like Inception, where it's just like, 
I might be like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> it's gonna be a movie that's uh, like, what the fuck? Uh, that where I probably don't need a nap afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Tenet. I really am. So uh, yeah, I'll be getting that on August 31st. I'm planning to see it. Unless it's like really crowded. I, I hope not. But I hope, I, I wouldn't think it will anyways, but it's on a Monday. But anyways, that's as far as trailers. I'll be back. I have one more review to do. Until then, I'll talk to you guys.